So we uh, left off. Sorry, my battery died. I'm always doing. Um, so a common multiple of three and six is twelve. So twelve becomes our new denominator. So what we have to do is convert both of these fractions to an equivalent fraction with 12 as a denominator. We'll take our first fraction, get to, oops. To get to 12, we have to multiply 3 by 4. Anything you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. Just an interesting side note. When I multiply one third by four over four, four divided by four equals one. So I'm, I'm literally multiplying by one. And as you know, any number you multiply by one equals that number. X times one equals X. It doesn't equal a different number. So that just shows you these are actually equivalent. They are the same value. So one third times uh, four over four equals four twelfths. So that is our new first fraction. Now to get from 6 to 12, so we'll do our second one now. So to get from 6 to 12, we have to multiply by 2. That gives us our denominator. Anything you do to the uh, denominator, you must do the numerator. 3 times 2 equals 4. So, uh, 2 6 also equals 4 twelfths. So as it turns out, one third and two six are equivalent. Which happens sometimes, so that's, that's good too. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Let's take a look at one more example, just to be sure. Need an eraser. Uh, so, let's take a look at, let's say, uh, three fifths and, uh, uh, two fourths. Okay. So, we need to find a common multiple. So, multiples of five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, multiples of four, are 4, 8, 16, 20. Now, there we go. And as it happens in this case, this would work uh, the same. You know, actually, let me do a different example because of that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's take a look instead at uh, two knights and, um, and uh, one sixth. Okay, so we need to find a common uh, multiple to make our new denominator. So we'll do the multiples of 9, 9, 18, 27, uh, 30, 6, and multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18. There we go. So our new denominator is going to be 18. So to get from 2 ninths to a denominator of 18, we multiply 9 by 2, and anything we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator, so multiply 2 by 2 as well, we get 4 18. So that is our new first fraction. Now we'll do another fraction, so 1 sixth. Uh, to get to 18, we need to multiply by 3. And anything we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator to maintain the ratio. So we multiply the numerator by 3, and that gives us 3 eighteenths. So there's our new second fraction. 4 eighteenths is clearly larger. And 3 eighteenths, uh, since 3, or since 4 eighteenths is the same, is identical to 2 ninths, it must be the case that 2 ninths is greater than 1 sixth. Um, so just follow that chain of logic again. 9 and 6 have as a common multiple 18. That is their least common multiple. Um, to derive an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 18, 
we would have to multiply 9 by 2. And since we multiply 9 by 2, we must multiply 2 by 2. That gives us 4 18 So 4 18 is the same as 2 9 uh, To get from 6 to a fraction with a denominator of 18, we multiply by 3. Multiply the numerator by 3 as well. That gives us 3 18 So 3 18 is the same as 1 6. It is um, the exact same value, just expressed in a different way. And we see that by multiplying it by 1, which 3 over 3 equals. We get this. Uh, that gives us 4 18 and 3 18 and 4 18 is clearly larger than 3 18 So I hope, again, that uh, this makes sense, and you can use it on fractional dominoes or anything else math-related that we'll be getting into this week. Okay, well, back with <coughs> more strategies and tips regarding fractions uh, tomorrow.